Home Super Ram 2 air filter for my Lexus GS400. And first I'm going to show a little unboxing and then I'm going to show how to install it. And then after that I will do a quick pull. So inside, you know, package comes like this. So these filters are made in UK. UK. And there's a little Tom's logo inside. And so far, it's like a nice, nice soft foam. And they, I think they say it's a three layer foam. So it helps with uh, filtration and performance. So we'll see how it does. Overall, it's a very high quality filter and um, I'm excited to put it in. It's a very high quality filter. I mean, I guess the UK is very good at making filters. Um, filtration seems legit too. Um, it's a dry foam. You don't have to oil it, which is very nice, especially on these GS400s where the mass airflow sensor clogs up from the oil. But um, yeah, like I said, I was really excited to uh, get this in the mail because I've heard good things about this on other cars, especially on the uh, new RCs and LC500s. Alright guys, just a quick comparison. Uh, this is a stock OEM filter, and this is a Tom's. And um, one thing I noticed is this thing is huge. Like, it's absolutely huge. Look at this thing. Like, stock filters are like, like cakes. Like, look at that. It's dirty, too. And then the Tom's is so thin. And it's lighter. It looks like it, it can filter really well, too. I mean, look at this foam. This foam is really nice quality. Guys, um, I already went inside the airbox, took the filter out, and cleaned the inside. And um, installation is pretty straightforward. So what you're going to want to do first is disconnect the math, uh, math sensor. And it's just a little connector in the back. It's like a little pin. Disconnect that. Next is, there's four pins. There's one here. You just pull it off. There's one back here. Pull it off. I already had this one down. And then this one like that. And the next part is kind of hard to do with one hand. But you're going to want it twist. Have to put this down for a second. Just a quick thing: um, do not place your finger on the map sensor. Uh, you don't want your finger oils to contaminate it. And to remove it, all I had to do was just kind of twist and pull, because it's kind of like an accordion um, elbow, so it's flexible. The next thing you want to do is make sure the foam size is on the bottom, obviously, and the tom side is facing up. And you're gonna want to just line it in there and gently tap the edges so you ensure correct fitment but um yeah it's a nice filter good quality so i'll get back to you guys after uh put the lid on the thing i forgot to mention is you're gonna have to loosen this to get it um to basically have it where this can twist off this whole panel can twist off and it's just a little phillips head screwdriver or Phillips head and you just loosen that and just make sure on reinstallation that um that you tighten it but don't strip it and it's a pain in the ass to put it back on. Over time I've learned that um if you disconnect the negative battery terminal that um kind of resets the learning of the throttle so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and this is a 10 millimeter socket. What I normally do is I rest it on the side and wait around 30 seconds and then put it back on. And you'll immediately notice that the car is trying to learn to throttle again. Yeah, it's got start up. So far, so good. Alright, here's a quick pull. This filter sounds awesome guys, listen. Sounds awesome. So we're uh, 0 to 60, that's what I got. And I'm spinning, like hell. 